I became totally fascinated with gallium after reading this book. And this book, at least the title of it, is based off of gallium the disappearing spoon. Now, I'm gonna show you how to make a disappearing spoon using this special element. So back in the day, this was the old parlor trick to make a spoon out of gallium. And they would give somebody a spoon with their tea to stir in their sugar and make their tea nice and tasty. And guess what would happen? Of course, the spoon would melt. Check this out. So gallium is a metal, but it melts at a very low temperature compared to other metals. I mean, come on, late 1800s England, you're going to have your tea, you pick up some of the nice silver, especially from the queen, you stir, and then this happens? It's not good, right? Now, probably not good to let your guests drink the tea with that gallium in there, even though it's supposed to be non-toxic. Now, here's the thing, in this whole spoon thing, I've got a massive amount of epic fails trying to make my gallium spoon and the molds. But I gave it a shot, so I wanna show you some of my fails here because sometimes you don't get to see all of that. You just see the final product. Now, this is me trying to make a mold from a small soda bottle. I figured, what the heck, you know? I can cut this thing apart into pieces and I can build my own mold because, well, that would be cool. So you can see the process that I went through here. It turned out to be an absolute disaster and you'll see why. I mean, the idea is good, right? Take a spoon, get it inside of there, take some mold, get it all mixed up nicely and pour it in. This is where things really went south. It just didn't work out quite the way it was supposed to. In fact, it didn't work any of the times I tried it, multiple different times, multiple different ways. This is the best one and it's horrible. I did get the spoon out, but look, this thing is trash. I was over it. So I got on the internet and I ordered a mold. Now, if you want a mold, I'll put a link down in the description or come over to blscience.com and I'll tell you where you can find one of these fantastically made molds. And here's the process of putting this thing together. I'm not kidding you. I spent three weeks trying to make a mold and this one showed up in the mail two days later. Now this is me melting the gallium down. You gotta get it heated up, melting it down. And I wanted the mold inside of that to be warm because I wanted the gallium to flow down inside of that and then cool and solidify without any sort of gaps. So I got a little syringe here. I'm gonna fill it up with the liquid gallium and then I'm gonna take that and stick it into the top of my mold. Look, look, you can see it filling up. Isn't that incredible? We are forming a spoon from liquid gallium. Here it is. This is like a month of work to try to get to this point. But here we go. Now we've got the spoon. It comes out of this mold pretty easily. I did put gloves on because if you've used gallium in the past, you know it leaves like a metallic residue on your hand. And I didn't want to heat the spoon up. Gallium is, is very malleable, as you'll see. I mean, look at here. It bends quite easily. And part of that is if you get it warmed up with your hands, it'll really bend as easily. And here we go. Here's the disappearing spoon trick one more time. Isn't that fantastic? I love it. A lot of other things happen with the gallium as well. The crazy thing about gallium, it'll shatter if it hits the surface, hits a hard surface. And I had a few spoons shatter, break apart. So I figured, hey, I'll try to do some cold welding here with some gallium and I'll fit it together nicely. But once I started, I thought, ah, Let's turn this into an art project. Well, mostly I just had a bunch of liquid gallium in the syringe, so I figured, what the heck? Pour it all out there and see what we end up with. And really, I just ended up with a weird looking gallium spoon, but it made me happy, so you know. You can see some of the other fails I had, even with the nice mold. But the nice thing about gallium, easy cleanup. Check this out. Just get the syringe and now, thanks for watching. We got a lot going on over here at Beale Science. Check out the other videos or 
check out BealScience.com. But here's the real point with our gallium and our tea. Keep on learning. Oh, that's hot. I'm gonna get my daily dose of metal. No, really, don't drink the gallium tea. Okay.